Role-based access control is a method of assigning permissions to users based on their roles. By controlling access to resources through role authorization, RBC can help from different perspectives. In Locto, we have implemented RBC using the most standard and scalable method, allowing for a wide range of scenarios. To understand how it works, it's important to familiarize yourself with key terms. Permissions. Permission refers to the authorization to access a resource. We call it API resource. In the real world, entities such as orders, documents, and products can be designated as resources and various actions can be assigned. Examples of permissions, including the ability to edit an order, read a document, and delete a product, are as follows. Write. Orders. Read. Documents. Delete. Products. For example, permission read. Item in resource API 1 is different from the permission read. Item in resource API 2. Roles. Roles are a grouping of permissions that can be assigned to users. They also provide a way to aggregate permissions defined for different APIs, making adding, removing, or adjusting permissions more efficient than assigning them individually to users. Here's an example of an order admin role with several permissions for two resources. Also, it's okay to have permission overlap between roles. Example. An online bookstore. Let's say you have an online bookstore to manage. Here, we greatly simplify the access control model for demonstration purpose. The model is divided into two major API resources, orders and products. They have different resource indicators. For each resource, you'd like to separate permissions into read, write, and delete. So you define six permissions in total. You want to have two types of admin, order admin and product admin. Order admin can manage orders and see products, but cannot manage products. Product admin can manage products, and they should not be aware of any orders. It's okay to assign both order admin and product admin to a user, then they will have all six permissions you just defined. Note the order admin shares the permission read, product with the product admin, and the final permissions that a user holds is the union of all permissions from the roles they has been assigned. Recap. We introduce two new terms permission, and role. To summarize, an API resource can hold multiple permissions. When we talk about an API permission, we are actually talking about a permission of an API resource. A role is a group of API permissions. Now you are familiar with the key concepts. Let's take a look at how to make configurations through Logto Cloud. Manage API resource permissions. Permissions are set in the API resource level. Navigate to the API resources tab, Click the API resource you want to manage, and then go to the Permissions tab. To create a new permission, click the Create Permission button in the top right corner. It's important to provide a name and details for the permission, as it will make it easier to identify and manage permissions. To delete a permission, click the trash bin icon in the very right of the row. Manage Roles. Create and define a new role. A role is a group of permissions. Navigate to the Roles tab, and you'll see a list of roles you've defined. To create a new role, click the Create Role button in the top right corner. A dialog box will appear where you can give the role a name and description and assign one or more permissions to the role. 1. Keep in mind that while it is technically possible to create a role without permissions or users assigned, it is not recommended to create too many empty roles. This will disrupt the harmony of role management and render the RBC system ineffective. 2. Permissions are grouped by API in the selector, allowing you to add them in bulk or select them individually. The selected permissions will be displayed on the right side. Three, a new role has two available types, user role or machine to machine app role. User roles can only be assigned to users and machine to machine app role can only be assigned to machine to machine apps. View or update a role. After completing the role creation and assignment process or click a role name in the roles list, you will be directed to the role details page. The layout and controls on this page are consistent with other entities. To delete the role, click the three dots button. You can also edit the role name and description, inspect and manage the permissions and users assigned to the role at any time. Deleting the role will eliminate all the permissions linked to it for the impacted users and delete the connection between roles, users or apps and permissions. Manage users or apps and roles. Depending on the type of role you choose, you will be able to assign or remove users or machine-to-machine -machine applications in the role details page. 
Click the Users or Machine to Machine Apps tab to view the users or apps assigned to the role. To add user or app to the role, click the Assign Users or Assign Applications button in the top right corner. To remove a user or app from the role, click the trash bin icon in the very right of the row. Manage role permissions. If you need to change the capabilities of a role, you can easily do so by assigning or removing permissions. To assign new permissions, simply go to the permissions and click assign permissions. From there, you can select the permissions you want to add to the role. To remove existing permissions, click on the trash bin icon in the very right of the row. If a permission is deleted, Users with this role will lose the access granted by this permission. Manage roles from the details page of a user or app. You can find a roles tab in the details page of a user or app. Click the tab to view and manage the roles assigned to the user or app. Now you are all set for the definition in the Logdo console. Now let's do something with the code to get this running. Let's dive into the code to get things moving. Setting up a front end project? We'll use React for our example. We'll begin with Logdo's official sample project. You can find the link to this project in the video description below. Firstly, add all the permissions we've defined to the scopes field. This doesn't mean that every user will have these scopes. Rather, it signifies a request. The final scopes will actually depend on the user's roles. Next, we'll add two resources. We are now ready to grant an access token. This token will be used to make requests, and here's an example of how to make requests to the product's API. Securing resources in the API next. Let's secure the product's API server. For this demonstration, we'll use Express to build the API server. I've prepared a simple project in advance. It's based on Express and includes three mock functions, reading products, updating a product, and deleting a product. Additionally, there are three API routes for reading, writing, and deleting products. Now, let's create a middleware for authentication validation. You can find the sample code on Logdo's documentation site. The link is also included in the video description below. The first step is to extract the token from headers. Secondly, we'll validate the access token. To do this, install the Jose package and configure the issuer in JWKS URL. Remember to replace these with your own endpoints. We'll then add the authentication middleware. Here, we'll modify this function, add the scopes parameter, and verify it. Finally, we'll add the middleware to our three API routes. Congratulations, you're all set up.